It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, appreciate you being here. Um, Sorry, uh, I didn't have enough time to do the questions thing this week, so be looking for it next week, and I need more questions, too. I didn't really have enough to do a full segment, so uh, if you got questions, send them. Thank you. Um, so today's video is on what Andy Griffith said to Don Knotts as he was dying. Let's take a look. Don Knotts and Andy Griffith are both stars of The Andy Griffith Show and real-life friends, too. After all they'd been through together, Griffith was there at Knott's uh, deathbed. Here's what Griffith had to say to Knott's, and look at how Knott's kept people laughing right until the end. According to CNN, Knott's died on February the 24th of 2006 at the age of 81. He died due to pulmonary and respiratory complications. On March the 5th of 2006, uh, Andy Griffith, Ron Howard, and Jim Neighbors of The Andy Griffith Show Joyce DeWitt of Three's Company and Knott's daughter Karen uh, went on Larry King Live to discuss Knott's. Griffith recalled he was with Knott's only a few hours before his death, and what he said to Knott's revealed how close the two actors were. Uh, at night at UCLA, I was with him until uh, six, to 6 or 6.30, I guess, and he couldn't respond, but I did. I was able to tell him I loved him, and I asked him to breathe, breathe, keep breathing, Jess, Griffith said. His name was Jesse. He never liked that name, but he let me know at one time, and I always called him Jess. Griffith recalled Knotts made it clear he understood what was going on by moving his shoulders around. During the interview, King asked Griffith if, if members of Don uh, Knotts' close circle thought Knotts was going to die. I'm afraid we did, Griffith said. Uh, we didn't. I didn't know it up until about the time uh, uh, we were there. And they were very nice to us at UCLA, and we were down in the emergency room, and we were near enough. We heard the doctor tell Francie, uh, Don's wife, that his heart had stopped in the ambulance, and they had brought him back. But yeah, we knew. In the same interview, Karen said Knott's final moments were emotional. We spoke to him and talked to him from our hearts, and I said everything I wanted to tell him, she recalled. However, Knott's final moments were not entirely somber. Aaron told Closer Weekly she had to leave her father's bedside because he kept being funny up until the end, and she didn't want to laugh while her father was dying. She did not specify what exactly Knotts did that was so funny. However, she said being a, comedy, a comic uh, was a natural part of her father's disposition. Karen eventually told a comedy director named Howard Storm that her father was being funny shortly before his death. Storm is known for his work on television sitcoms and the Jim Carrey movie Once Bitten. Storm told Karen she should have stayed and laughed. She agreed. After all, comedians love making people laugh. While Knotts was trying to make people laugh, Griffith was letting a friend know that he loved him. I just love a friendship like that. I just, hopefully I have friends like that as well. Um, all I have for you. Uh, please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Um, to be honest, I cannot think of what, Hey, what, hold on just a second and I'll tell you what it is. Uh, it's on, uh, where Led Zeppelin got their name. There you go. Uh, it's pretty an interesting story actually. Oh, so you might want to check that out. Um, please don't forget to like this video, please. Pretty please. Thank you. Um, have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.